Uh, friends, neighbors, since June the 1st, I have mocked on more than $35,000 across York Southwest. Many voters have told me they are fed up and they're frustrated with politics and politicians. I don't blame them. I've heard from parents who've been forced to sell their home to pay for a treatment for their autis autistic children. I've met seniors with serious health issues who are languishing at home receiving one hour of home care a week. I've worked with uh, young people who are facing $50,000 of student debt when they graduate from university. And I've sat down with, uh, with coffee just a couple of days ago with a single mom who hasn't had a raise in her pay for eight years now and who can't afford the hydro bill. She's afraid they're gonna cut her and her two children off. These people are our neighbors. And the McGinty Liberal government has let them down repeatedly over the past eight years. I'm here tonight to tell you that we can do better, that we deserve better from our provincial government, that it is time for real change that puts people and their priorities first for a change. That's, that's what the NDP's platform is about. It's about putting people first for a change. We need to start by making life more affordable. That means taking the provincial portion of the HST off daily essentials, like home heating, like hydro, like gas for the car. We need to make smarter decisions with the way we spend the public's tax dollars. That means using more of the $45 billion a year that we spend on health care to actually keep people healthy, as opposed to having to go into the back pockets of health care CEOs and well-connected consultants. We need the province to play a significant role in addressing our city's serious fiscal challenges. That means stepping up and restoring the traditional 50% operating uh, funding for the TTC. We need to give our young people hope and opportunity. That means investment in meaningful employment and training opportunities. Those are some of my priorities. Those are some of my party's priorities. I look forward to earning your vote and your trust on October the 6th and going back to Queen's Park to fight for you. Thank you.